Hey, so I'm going to be diving into a new series here, and it's going to be basically when I come back from a wedding, how does my post-production process look like? So we're going to go through culling a whole wedding set, how I do that, and um, going all the way to editing and then delivering. And so it's going to be a fun series. Stick around. Uh, this is the first one of the series, but we're going to go right into it. So this was a wedding I shot last week. And it was during a wedding weekend that was three weddings in a weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was insane. We got through it and uh, we had a great time. So my wife is my second shooter. So this is basically how I organize my files. Um, I have a wedding folder for each couple. And in there I have David for my files. And then Kat, who's my wife, and all of her files. And this is just all of the raw files that we took. So nothing's been cold or picked or anything yet. So, so I have all that. Then I have a Lightroom catalog for their wedding. Then I have a picked folder once we're done calling. So this is basically how I do it. We'll go through here. Um, I use a program called Photo Mechanic. Uh, it's very quick with processing RAWs. And uh, it's by far the best one out there. So I just drag that folder in there and it loads all the photos. And you can see this is all the RAWs and it's loading the it's loading them really quick. Real crazy. It's the best program ever. Okay. So my process, I've got it down pretty good to where I know by the end of the end of the calling session, uh, of calling my photos and my wife's photos, they'll be around eight hundred, nine hundred ish, and then I'll probably go through again and, and recall and try to get rid of another 100 or maybe a little bit less. My goal for a wedding is to deliver somewhere around 700, 800 edited images. Uh, it's pretty hard sometimes when you have a second shooter or when the day's long and the photos are good. So, so basically what I do is I go through here and, um, and, I, and I just click one for a photo I like. So um, I like that and I'm just gonna kind of go through these, get all my detail shots. Some photos of the cake. Yeah, we'll do that. A couple of those. That looks good. I shot this and thought maybe I could Photoshop that uh, thermostat out. Meh, maybe. We'll keep it. Just see what we'd come up with. This was a really dark, dark uh, venue. So I'm using all natural light. That's a good photo. I'll probably do that too. Some photos of a birch tree. Yeah, why not? I took some more photos of this arbor when it wasn't sunny, so I'm going to wait till I get to those. I'll do that. And then we start getting into the guy's photos. Um, you'll, you'll be able to see really my approach for, for weddings by just looking through all my photos. And this is very vulnerable. Uh, you'll see all my crappy photos. Uh, and there are plenty. And uh, that's okay. I'm not. I'm not embarrassed to show that. Um, every wedding photographer is going to have a lot of images that they probably won't deliver. Um, also, this kind of shows you what they look like unedited, um, which again puts you in a vulnerable spot. But I'm totally okay with that. Taking shots of Jack, of course. Nice. So my approach for shooting guys. Uh, during getting ready is really just fly on the wall. I want to try to not be obtrusive and I want to kind of try to catch moments as they happen. Um, and so that's kind of, I, I don't really like calling anything out. I try not to be in the way. I try to just make it happen. Um, yeah, this was unfortunate. We weren't able to take her dress out anywhere and we, our hanger was kind of boring, but you know, that's okay. We made it happen. In the end, we got what we needed. I'm going to get rid of that photo. Do that one instead. So this is the groom. You'll be able to see him a little bit more clear once we get him in some better light. These photos will look really great in black and white, which is probably what I'll convert them to. Doing a little buddy-buddy handshake. I like this photo a lot. Not this one. How about this one? The guy's got a better expression. Kind of all the guys just hanging out, having a good time. Raptor shirt. 
guy on the right's the groom. Out of focus. Dang it. <laughs> Gentleman's Jack. Then we get into the bride's photos. That's a good shot. I think I'll pick that. That's good. It has more of a smile. Mother tying up the dress. I believe that's her aunt. Going to pick that, pick that. No, not very flattering faces. So let's go to next one. That's better. I like that. No, no. Better. No, no. We'll get there. We'll find one. Keep that. Mother and the bride. I believe this was... Um, Mother on the right, bride in the middle, and then aunt on the other side. Yeah, one thing to always be aware of when you have two cameras in the room, you always got to um, check for eyes. <laughs> Make sure people's eyes aren't wandering off. And you can see um, she was looking at my wife. So that's always something we kind of call out, try to call out. You know, like, look at this camera. This was the bridesmaid seen her for the first time in her dress. So let's see if I can get a good reaction with all of them. That, and then we did a dad first look too. Crazy, a lot of first looks. So this was her dad seeing her for the first time. Um, this was kind of another cool example. This was kind of where the bride wanted to place him. Uh, and I put him there and realized the light's kind of boring. So I moved him over with the bride's um, approval to here. And you can see the lights a lot better. It's a little big window to his left. So this is going to be where she comes up and does a tap on the back. <laughs> I guess she just turns around. That's right. Cool moment. That's a nice one to capture. And my wife got a different angle. We'll dive into those photos after calling these. <laughs> Very cute. Now on to the groom's first look with his wife. We have him out here. <laughs> we have him out here in the bush, <laughs> somewhere, somewhere out toward where the ceremony is going to be cool moment he right as she was walking up just broke down and started crying and it was really cool to see just how intimate and um i don't know how much love they had for each other so it was really fun too it was really cool to just be in the moment and capture you know two people who just extremely love love each other and how big of a day this was for them so it was really cool so here's their first look and the moms both watching Big Bill K. I think I had to tell her to bring it down just a little bit because it was, it was just right in her face. One thing I often tell, well, not often. I actually tell every couple now. Um, when they're about to do their first look, I just tell them to both of them before they do it, like, hey, you know, take five minutes, six, seven minutes 
after the first look and just enjoy each other's company and don't worry about us as the photographers don't worry about moving on to the next thing don't worry about schedule just soak up five five or more minutes with your husband to be your bride to be and um we're just going to shoot around you and not call anything out just have a moment and so it's really cool it creates a lot of opportunities to get moments real moments um before you dive into pose photos and so forth so it's something that i started doing a lot last year and i was really happy with the results so this is where we started actually getting into more of the posed photos. So it's hard to see. Unfortunately, it doesn't show every time I five or I star one, but you can kind of see, you know, we've been going through these and uh, anyone with a little one star on it is one that I'm picking. Um, so on the very end, we'll, we'll select just all the ones that were rated and then throw that into a folder. Uh, and then that will be what we've picked. And from there, we can recall uh, and get rid of stuff if we need, if we have too many photos, which is very likely we'll probably have too many photos, especially once we um, call my wife's set from this wedding too. So 